Welcome everyone. So today I want to talk about this pen plotter that I made. Um, I made it out of an old scanner, uh, used some parts from a old dot matrix printer and a disk drive. Um, I also printed some parts up with my 3D printer and I'm using an Arduino Uno with a CNC shield running GRBL firmware. After designing the parts in Google SketchUp, I printed them out with my 3D printer. The motor and the belt come from an old dot matrix printer I had lying around in the shed. I designed it in such a way where I could easily assemble it into one unit and not have to worry about a weight bolted down in any particular way. So the entire Y axis ends up being a unit on its own. I'm using hot glue to glue the Y axis down. I didn't need to overcomplicate anything, I just needed to get it stuck down somehow. And here I'm just testing the power supply unit and gluing down some other parts that was going to get in the way. I'm not going to elaborate too much about the Z axis because it's sort of complicated and also I didn't do what I wanted to do in the end anyway. So now I'm just doing the wiring up and testing with the multimeter to make sure that the polarity of the motors are the right way around. After all the wiring is done, it's time to do the GRBL firmware setup. So first I open my Arduino IDE. I'm running Linux because I don't really have access to a Windows PC. So I go and find where I have saved my GRBL firmware. I'll be putting a link in the description below. Now the thing is, there are a few things that you have to remember. The one is the bitrate. You have to remember what it's set to. And then if you go over to default, here you can set the steps per millimeter inside the firmware. But don't worry about that for now. I'll show you how you can set it later directly inside the G-Code Sender program. Now close everything and open the Universal G-Code Sender program. This program is also available for Mac and Windows and Linux. Sometimes it doesn't want to connect. Just keep reconnecting until the GRBL help comes up at the bottom. To set up your GRBL board, type in a double dollar sign. And this is where you would set your steps and a whole bunch of other things. I'm not going into too much detail on this because there's a lot of tutorials on the internet already. Once you're finished with the setup, go ahead and open a G-code file and then click send. So this pen potter was originally built for the 2015 Durban MakerCon. Um, I got invited to the event by a guy called Steve Gray. Um, he's the head of the Makerspace Foundation. I'll put a link in the description below of their websites and all their contact details. And um, I didn't want to take a 3D printer like everybody else just took 3D printers. I wanted to be, you know, take something slightly different. So I decided I would specially build um, this plotter for the event. And it was an absolute success. Like this event blew everything out of the water that we could ever think of and I just want to say Steve you did an absolutely fantastic job and I um, feel very honored to, to have been part of this whole event and also that I got invited in the first place. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.